How can I help you? And so the Outlander returns, as we discussed in the swamp. I expected you to return with Vea, or present me with a time and place for us to meet. Tell me, Outlander, which is it to be? Complication? What kind of complication? I ordered my soldiers to stand down and let you do things your way. But instead of results, you bring me excuses. No, that's not possible. My son was banished, ordered to leave Vardenfell and never return. Why would he disobey me and go to those savages? Vea was with you? And you left her out there? By the three, everything is unraveling no matter how hard I try to maintain control. I need you to do something else for me if you would, Outlander. Tell my daughter I'm sorry. Tell her she needs to stay away until I can calm things down. I don't want to see anything happen to her. Promise me. And take this. Consider it payment for your efforts thus far. If you'll excuse me, I need some time to consider everything you've told me. Once I determine the best way to proceed, I'll contact you. In the meantime, make sure Vea stays away from Balmora and House Redoran. It was never meant to be an attack. I sent Captain Briven to clear land that already belonged to House Redoran. The Ashlanders were given an opportunity to depart. The situation didn't have to turn violent. Those damn savages should have just left. House Redoran has been slowly expanding in that direction for years. We claimed that area almost a year ago, but we were forced to temporarily abandon it. When a massive ash storm hit, before we could return, the Ashlanders moved in. Redoran depends on that land for hunting and resources. The Ashlanders are like a plague of insects. They sweep into an area, take everything, and move on. We couldn't allow them to do that here. So, I sent Captain Briven to convince them otherwise. The captain serves House Redoran with honor and dedication. He's out doing his job. If Briven had anything to do with my son's death, he would have reported it to me. He'd have no reason to keep such news from me and the other counselors. I'll speak to Briven when he returns. But understand, the captain operated under my orders. He's an exemplary soldier and an upstanding member of the house. Like me, everything he does is for the betterment of House Redoran.
Outlander, over here. Now you told me what you found in the Ashlander mine. I can't imagine what Veya must be going through right now, but she shouldn't be alone. That's why I came looking for you. Now you has responsibilities to tend to. Morag Tong responsibilities. Understand? She left me to keep Veya company, but I'm not very good at spouting words of comfort and solace. Unless I can kill something, I'm very good at that. You do understand. And now you implied you're as dense as the ash storms coming off Red Mountain. Good to know even the Mother of Blades can be wrong. Ve is upset, and not just about her brother. She wanted to go with Nayu. One other thing, Nayu's job concerns House Redoran. That's why she didn't want Veya to accompany her on this one. Veya's grief-stricken, angry, and ready to lash out at anyone and anything. So keep your head low and try not to upset her. I have experience getting on a lot of people's bad sides. Women, especially, find me exasperating. Irresistible, but exasperating. It's a gift. Something about who Nayu's target is. Thinks the target may know something about what happened to her brother. Look, I'm not even sure how Veya found out who Nayu's target is, and I don't want to know. Just go and talk to her, please. Carefully. And with your hands empty and clearly visible. She's in the safe house beneath Balmora, or at least that's where I left her. But I didn't lock the door, so I suppose she could be anywhere by now. I suggest you hurry and get down there. Sure. I don't need a nursemaid no Oh, it's you. Sorry about that. Did Arshaw send you to check up on me? I swear, the next person that treats me like a child is going to find my dagger in their stomach. Gods, I'm not mad at you. I'm just annoyed at everybody right now. No, I don't think so. It's just been difficult. Finding poor Ulren in the Ashlander camp. I need to be doing something. Sitting down here in the dark, hiding, that's not going to solve anything. I know, but Nariu's writ. It involves a Redoran counselor. Exactly the opportunity I've been waiting for. The counselor knows who set up my brother. We need to talk to her before Nariu executes the writ. Do this for me, and I promise to stay here. Well, Nariu wouldn't tell me any specifics, but she trained me well. It wasn't hard to sneak a glance at the writ before she took off. Her target's at Arenum Manor, out in the swamp. Not far from that smelly cave, actually. I appreciate you agreeing to see what you can learn at Arenum Manor. My father used to say it was used by counselors as a retreat, but Mother always told me it was where they conducted business that required a certain degree of privacy. That's all I've been doing, thinking. And I think Ulran was right. I think someone wanted him out of the way and they orchestrated the event with the Ashlanders to do it. Someone played my brother for a fool and it cost him his life. Brivens as stubborn as my father when it comes to following the rules and regulations of House Redoran. Ulran and Briven were best friends even if they argued from time to time. Politics, foreign relations, the Ashlanders, you name an issue and Olrand and Briven were probably on opposite sides of the argument. It got to the point where I had to ignore both of them or they'd drive me insane. You, you did? How did he take it? I mean, he didn't know that my brother was dead. Really? I suppose that makes sense. I think he loves us, in his own way. But what else did he say? Did he know that Ulren had been banished? He didn't expect... <laughs> My father doesn't know his children as well as he thinks. 
either of them. That's why I had to get away. Join the Morag Tong. At least Naryu understands me. Mostly. I can't agree to that. I need to figure out what happened to my brother, who was involved, and then I'm going to make them pay. Just you watch. That was a brave deed, rescuing Sandrans. care of yourself, father.
expected you hours ago, hero. It's not polite to keep an assassin waiting. <laughs> <laughs>